Hello and welcome to this iMesh tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a sofa like this and this uses a technique which is found in a lot of say 3D Studio Max models and I don't think it's very widely known in um, for Blender models and this is a technique which I haven't even used myself up until about this point and previously I'd I had used Marvelous Designer which is a very good piece of software but I found that for sofas a lot more boxier and you should be able to model them and I find that you get better and cleaner results if you model them and that's a, what I'm going to show you how to do today um, it's probably going to do this in a few parts the first part is going to be the main sofa section and the next part is going to be the like the bed uh, sorry the sofa frame and the legs and then the cushions finally so yeah this one is going to be the main cushion sofa section with the bumps and show you how that's done and the next section is probably going to be the creases and yeah we'll go from there so basically first thing I want to do is just clear the scene actually just remove this and add a cube and next I want to make the kind of box out the shape of the object so I know that if I go to tools and change it here so I want this one to be 2.33 actually this one is probably about 1 this one 2.33 and the next one at 0.56 or so Let's just bring this up, Oops, G and then Z, and that's going to be our main sofa. So I want to go into tab and do control R and use the middle mouse wheel to do two, and scale with S and then Y like this, and another one here, and then I'll just go to face select and, oh actually I need another one, another one sorry, ah, that, that'll do fine. And if I ever misclick and do some weird things, I'm still used to the, the keys of 2.79, so I'm still getting used to them. So just select these two faces and delete faces with X. And then I just want to turn this on. You could do uh, Shift and Tab and just set it to Vertex. Click this edge and E and X. Snap it to here. And then just want to select these faces and do Space, Bridge Edge Loops bridge edge loops. Yep, so that's basically the shape of our object and we want to start with the main cushion area. Actually I'm going to bring this down a bit and oh, move it about here also. Maybe a bit lower. I'll turn this off with shift tab and okay so first thing we'll do is add a plane and scale it down. Doesn't matter so much about the size right now. And then I want to want to press I when you're in, in edit mode and press control R and use the middle mouse wheel to add a few loops add one here and add one here then I go to wireframe just delete these delete vertices oh sorry before I do that I want to bring the bottom down uh, select all these go into local mode and press G and Z <laughs> with proportional editing turned on and set to sharp just try to make a nice little archway like here okay and okay so now I'm ready to go into wireframe deselect everything and just select one half and delete the vertices and then add a mirror make sure you set clipping and set it both and then what I want to do is add press K and add a couple of loops here and another one here okay and one here and one here just click this and just do dissolve edge oops okay delete the edge but select these and press F okay and then I'm ready to okay that's fine for now I'm just gonna add an array set it to merge and add oh, three times and then copy that one and set this one to one here and set it to eight times and zero here okay now if we want to add a subdivision surface to see what's going on and set it to smooth and you can kind of see a soft looking cushion appearing I want to remove this face at the bottom so just click on this vertex in the middle and just press X vertex set these Okay, and this one too. And I want to go to Edit and Preferences and make sure you have Loop Tools enabled. And then go to here and click on Circle. So now we have a nice little buttonhole. 
OK. And as I've now added the array, I can kind of gauge the scale, which will probably change a bit later, so this is probably a bit pointless, but this is just so we can kind of see how it will fit into our, sh into our shape. OK, so that's fine. Now I know that's fine, I'm probably going to just apply the mirror, apply all the arrays, and remove most of them, just so I have one edge selected, sorry, one piece. Sorry, and half here actually. Okay, and X vertex. Okay. And now what we want to do is grab this edge loop and press E and X, and then E and X a little bit more, and turn off proportional editing, G and Z, E and Z, and then we want to E and X, <laughs> E and Z, oh, okay, G and Z, bring this X. down to here. I probably want to bring this whole thing up a bit. Uh, something like here. And bring this in. Yep, add a couple of edge loops and then one down. Oh, actually, yep. Grab them too and G and X scale that up. Okay, to create a nice little cushion look. And then we do want to add a couple more here. Okay, that's cool. And now I want to separate these two because this piece and this piece is going to have a couple of different things going on so to grab this edge and press V and now they're two separate things if you can do control R they should be separate okay next thing I want to do is grab this edge and this one and do control B something like here and make sure you have one in the middle and do control minus and bring this up Oh, actually, let's uh, delete this this one. Sorry, deselect it. And bring this over to try to create a fold. And the same one here. Maybe G and Y. Let's try and make it a nice little fold here. Okay, this, this one inside. Let me just see what's going on here. Turn this off completely. Actually, I've done this on. We can set the quality down because it slows things down. Just, just see how it's looking. Okay, we want to grab this one. And this one, and maybe G, bring it down a little bit. Okay, so that's a nice looking crease that we've got going on. And you can clean it up a little bit down here, just bring these, ah, bring these in just a little bit. It's not so important right now. Okay, and I think that is looking pretty cool. I probably want to bring this one out a little bit more. And bring this in. Okay, now it looks like the fold is going in here and being tucked in. You can kind of see what's going on down there, so make sure you pull this over so that there's no gap between the two. Nice, now we can add another array. Um, one here, and again eight times. I want to make sure the array is before the subdivision surface. Make sure you click on to merge. Bring this over, something like that, and then I want to add a apply this one, and then I want to select this edge in the middle and press Shift S cursor to select it, and then go to Object, Set Origin, and Origin to 3D Cursor, and then I want to add another mirror. And make sure I make that above the subdivision surface. There we go. So now you can see what's going on. We have a really nice cushion, and it goes to an edge, and this is where all the creases will be. Uh, but now we need to finish off the corners. So now <laughs> I'm going to delete, apply this mirror, Actually, now keep this mirror on and go to here and go to wireframe and delete this one, X vertices, and then add another one here. So we have two. So now, if we add a corner to piece to here, it will apply to both and every single side. So I want to go back into local mode, select this edge, 
that is and this edge and maybe not these that doesn't matter right now we can fix that later and same with these ones let's go to edge mode and press E and Y let's just turn this down and press space and type in shear and press Y or X and 1 and E and X and E and X all the way along make sure you get the same amount of edge loops as there is here because so, we'll join them up in a second actually I'm just going to go back and scale this on the x-axis there we go scaled it on the x-axis by zero okay just press control R to repeat the action if you want to speed things up Ooh. E and X make sure you have clipping selected now you can press e G and bring it all the way along and it won't let you go any further Okay, now I want to merge these two sides, so select this this whole loop with Alt and just deselect this one. Oop. Oh, there we go. And press space and type in bridge. There we go. We have a nice corner. And oh now we need to add a couple of loops here. That should do fine. Oh, another one. Grab this one again and again press bridge edge loops. Okay, deselect these. Okay, there we go. If you want, if you want to add more detail, you can add a seam here, just like we have here. Which ah, oh, I'll do it now. So <laughs> go to here and press scale. Uh, bring it on the x-axis and then on the y-axis. Okay. And press Control B. Just make a really quick and dirty one. There we go. That should be fine for now. Maybe it's a bit too strong actually. Just do Alt and S, maybe. Okie dokie. And we see that this edge isn't lining up, so just press Control R and add another one here. And now they are joined. Okay. I want this to be a little bit fuller, a bit, bit thicker, so I want to. Just grab these all, all, bring these all the way up, and this one as well. Make it really th nice and thick. Okay, and then this edge, I want to bring it right to the edge of this so far. So, bring this up. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. And there is something going on here, so I'm just going to select this whole thing with Control. Okay, there joined because I joined them huh. okay and so I want to grab this this one do this and because I want to stop what's whatever's going on here so I'm presume that there's, there's, there's an overlapping vertice or something so I'm just going to press space and remove d oh remove doubles is not a thing anymore it's called oh clean up Merge by distance. There we go. So three vertices removed, and now it looks a bit better. Might as well do the same one for here, just in case. Okay, and I'm just going to add another edge loop here, actually, and do Alt S. And bring this out a little bit more, make it look a bit more cozy. Scale this one down a bit. Okay, and maybe scale this, bring this one up a little bit. And again, Alt S, this one. There we go. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. Okay, now what we can do is select this face and press U to unwrap it just to see how the unwrap is going to go. Go to here and do UV image editor. I think that should be fine. What we can do is actually press U. Unwrap and set it to conformal, and that makes it a bit more squared. And then do the same for this one. And unwrap this edge here, which is this piece which is being unwrapped. You won't see it anyway, so that's fine that it's going a bit funny. But as a matter of fact, I'm just actually going to go into edit mode because it is actually going to screw up the ending. So I want to set this edge and sorry, this edge and do mark 
the seam, do control L and do the same thing again and then it should look a bit better. Okay, now what I want to do is go to the iMesh Asset Manager and if you go to iMesh on our homepage you should see a link which takes you to the Asset Manager and we also have a, a bunch of default materials. So if I go to materials, go to default material library and we have a set here. So I just want to apply this one, so click to patchy and set the object and import material. Now if I go to rendered, give it a second. Oh, I should probably add a light. So let's just add a HDR. Okay, and now you can kind of see what's going on here. So we're having a nice fabric looking object and the next step will be to add the creases. So stay tuned and I'll add the creases.